Hey, Tahinga Salamani here. I'm a center forward, and um, also I play as a striker. Shout out to Calvary. I'm very excited to come. The foot soldiers, I'm, I'm very excited to meet you all when we can all be together and um, hoping for some success this year. I feel like it's very promising in terms of how you see what Calvary's already done in terms of what it can do in terms of going forward. I look at the 2019 season and how, you know, just in that season, they made it to the final, developed players that were able to, you know, make it to the MLS, created this culture of just being a solid team, you know, have that kind of winning mentality, grit mentality. It's something good to be a part of. So yeah, it's very exciting. I think just in my, my dad, um, he, he played, and I always watched him growing up and, and thought he was really good. And, um, he was left-footed, and um, I kind of just grew up just enjoying going to his games. You know, he never played at a crazy high level, but, you know, I really enjoyed um, spending time with him and playing with him, yeah. My family is from the Democratic Republic of Congo, um, and they emigrated to Canada in the early 90s. I was born in Moncton, New Brunswick, um, Canada, in 1996. I didn't really live there for a long time. Moved to Windsor, Ontario. And that's where I really grew up, um, played for local teams there, like Windsor Internationals. When I was 10, we moved to Ypsilanti, Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan, that region. Kind of from there, that became kind of where I really started playing for club teams, academy teams, played through the, you know, the American system. Um, I don't know if you heard of the residencies program down in Florida, went there for two years, um, then went through the NCAA program um, at Michigan and Santa Barbara. It's really good to be a student athlete. You learn a lot um, about yourself on and off the pitch. You know, tried my luck overseas um, for two years um, in Greece and Czech Republic. Really challenging experience, but grew a lot as a player. Um, played multiple positions um, and then really felt like I came into my own as a player when I moved to New Zealand um, last year um, and, and played an ISPS handed premiership. Just very direct, um, you know, looking to break into lines almost every time I get the ball. You know, I always look to see if a pass is available, obviously, but um, I'm looking to, to turn and, and, and try to be my defender and, and find a 1v1 situation in order to get a shot off or, or a passing situation where we can be in a goal scoring opportunity. Um, I think that's just where my strengths are. Obviously, to score goals. <laughs> I think it's just to, to push myself to reach the highest levels, um, you know, um, domestically, um, hopefully, you know, internationally at some point, just to push myself and, and enjoy every experience that I can through this sport, to be honest. Um, it's been a blessing. Getting better, because I feel like there's always a chance to get better. Um, even if you think you, you, you've reached like your maximum level of getting better, I think getting better is something that motivates me um, and just reaching certain goals that I have set from a young age, not not giving up on those goals. Um, that, that motivates me. There's a lesson to learn in every situation, especially bad situations, actually. Um, that's when you learn a lot about yourself, especially as a striker, dealing with situations such as droughts. Um, you have to understand how to be mentally strong. Those are things that, that have helped me, you know, even outside of football. Winning as a group, what you can achieve as a team. So so every other sport, you, what do you measure? It's, it's titles, dealing with adversity, being able to win. I think that's, that's real success.